What does a senior level developer know that a junior level developer doesn't know? How do you assess the members on your team to know where they are in their career growth? Every tech stack is complicated. There's all these different things to know. How do you deal with it? Well, we found a great tool that we use at FullScale called Roadmap.sh that I'm going to tell you all about today. To survive and thrive, you must adopt a product-driven mindset. Career growth is very important to us at FullScale. We have over 250 software engineers. How we hire those people, how do we interview them, how do we do ongoing performance reviews across all these different technical stacks, it's a big challenge. Before, the only way we could do this is our leaders had to lean on our own experience with specific technologies, right? A lot of our team is actually .NET developers. And, you know, in the last years, we have all these new JavaScript frameworks, we have all these new things, we have all these new programming languages. How do you assess the team? There's also non-technical things or less technical things like, say, software architecture and other topics that are less about a programming language. They're more, a little more generic, right? How do you assess what people know about, say, software architecture? Well, this is a very difficult problem to solve, and Roadmap.sh has really helped us with that. A great example of this is actually interviewing people. We interview hundreds of people on a monthly basis. We hire software developers every week. And sometimes people come in and they want these crazy high salaries, or sometimes even one of our existing employees wants some giant raise. Well, how do we know if they deserve that crazy high salary? Well, roadmap.sh is one of the tools we can actually use. We can pull up the programming languages they use. We can see what they know today and maybe what they don't know. And a lot of times they think they're an expert and you look at it and you're like, man, you don't know all these different things. We can help you learn them. And that's part of the value of the tool. So it can actually be used as kind of a reality check with your team to see what they know and what they don't know. So let's walk through an actual example of what a roadmap.sh roadmap looks like. So for example, we're looking at an ASP.NET roadmap. Of course, this website supports all sorts of different programming languages, front end, back end, React, you know, all these different things. You can pick whichever one you want, and you're going to get a similar sort of roadmap. What's great about this is it kind of shows you the full breadth and scope of all the things you could potentially know. Now, granted, not every developer is ever going to need to know all of these things. Some of you may work in APIs and you don't do MVC, like you, do, you don't do front end stuff. Or maybe you don't even work with programs that use a database. Or maybe you don't do much with security. Somebody else on the team deals with that. But the point is, this makes you aware of all the different things. Like, hey, did you know there are four common ORMs or all these different uh, SQL databases or NoSQL databases or middleware or this or that? All these different components that are out there. And again, you're never going to know all of them, but at least it gives you a roadmap of all the things you probably should at least be aware of. And as you go to become a senior level developer, an architect, it becomes even more important that you know all these things and at least know that they exist. Maybe know the pros and the cons of them and at least have awareness of them. You're never going to have mastery of all of them, but it really helps you identify maybe what you should learn next as you're progressing through your career. So the key way that we use this at full scale besides in our hiring process is in our quarterly reviews. We do performance reviews with all of our developers every single quarter. We want to identify how they're doing across seven different types of skills. Technical skills is just one of them. We also assess them on leadership and mentoring, communication, and other things. Roadmap.sh is super critical, though, for the technical component. We want to identify what they're learning today, what they're doing on a day-to-day -day basis in their current projects, their current job, but also the things they want to learn or need to learn. There's actually both are super, super important. So we can help them identify two or three things they want to learn next over the next quarter, and then we can support them. So one thing I've really learned about managing people is you have to both challenge them and support them. And this tool can help challenge them, figure out what do they need to learn next, and then as a company, we can figure out how to support them to actually do that. It could be online videos, could be a book, it could be mentorship, it could be a lot of different things. But again, challenge and support. A big value of working at full scale is that we do this for our employees. Our employees love working for us and we have super high employee retention because we do this ongoing training. It's also a huge advantage for our clients. Most of them are smaller companies that never in a million years could afford 
to hire and do this sort of training on an ongoing basis. So it's a huge value to our clients as well. We do constant training, mentor, career growth, all that kind of stuff. And it really helps keep the satisfaction of our developers super high. Ultimately, this is a super great tool for assessing your team or assessing yourself. Either way, it's great to go in, pick out the different roadmaps, pick the different programming language, and just see where you're at. You will be amazed at maybe things you didn't know or some of the next things that you should learn. It's a fantastic tool. It is open source. It's on GitHub. It, you can go play with it. It's free, completely free. Check it out at roadmap.sh, and we'll see you on the next episode of Product Driven. 